In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate percent yield. Um, this, what you see here on the screen right now, is the percent yield uh, formula. So actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100%. Uh, the actual yield is how much you actually produced of a chemical. In this case, we're dealing with chalk. So how much did you actually produce or uh, get or collect uh, in your filter paper? And uh, divided by the theoretical yield. Theoretical yield, this is how much we should have produced. We multiply it by 100 to move the decimal point over to make it into a percent. Okay, so... Let's think about this for a second. If I used six grams of calcium chloride, that's that white salt, um, I did some stoichiometry. It's actually problem number two on the chalk stoichiometry handout. Um, how many grams of calcium carbonate, the chalk, should I have made? Well, according to stoichiometry problems, that problem, I should have produced 5.4 grams. This is my theoretical yield. This is how much I should have made. Okay, how much did I actually collect in the filter paper after I you know, dumped out the flask into the, the funnel and collected all the stuff? I let it dry overnight. I actually only collected 4.6 grams. I should have made 5.4, but I only actually got uh, 4.6 out of it. This is my actual yield. I'm going to use these numbers uh, to then produce and uh, plug into that formula to produce my percent yield. Okay, so uh, let's just clear that out. All right, I'm going to set up my equation. So it's going to be a fraction. So percent yield is equal to 4.6. That's my actual yield. That's how much was left in the, uh, the filter paper divided by 5.4 grams. That's how much I should have made. That's the number I calculated using stoichiometry. We multiply it by 100 to move the decimal point over, 2 to the right. Okay, so I plug it into my, uh, uh, my calculator, and this is a division problem, so I work from the top down when I plug it into the calculator, 4.6 divide sign 5.4, and I get this very small number, 0 0.851851.85, looks like it's just going to repeat. I'm going to multiply that by 100. I do that to move that frequency over and create a percent into it. So when I move that decimal point over 2 to the right, I get 85.185185. All right, so I want to um, then take this number and I want to uh, round to the nearest tenth using that percent. So this is the tenth place where that one would be. Uh, so I look at the number next to it, and if that's five or more, then I'm going to add a place value to that one. So I get 85.2. I'm not done, though, until I have a percent sign. So I'm going to draw that in, and that's how much I... Uh, I yielded. That's how much I made. 85.2%. Uh, your number is probably going to be a little different. It all depends on how much you collected when we actually did this lab. All right. Uh, watch the video again to figure out how to calculate percent yield, but that's how you do it.